Where are my gays at? <laughs> there we go. I've been waiting so long to say that. Not only am I your host tonight, I'm also a client. So I'm glad we got that out of the way. How cool is it that we have a gay show right now at a major comedy club in Chicago? Let's just give it up for that. Like, how fucking cool, right? Uh, how's everybody's weekend going so far? How's everybody's weekend going? Pretty good so far. Saturday, we're getting there. We're getting in there. We're in the thick of it. Let me tell you, I'm having a great time so far. I'm just glad he doesn't sell cars. Because if he did, I'd be driving a BMW instead of walking funny right now. And I can't afford a Beamer. I mean, the economy, oh my God, it sucks. It sucks so hard, I'm convinced it's a gay man. <laughs> Except like through a glory hole, because after I'm sucked dry, I have no idea where my money goes. <laughs> it's bad. You know, I don't know what my budget plan is, dating somebody with a car. It's great because when you can't afford the CTA, they can pick you up and drive you places. They pick you up before the date and then they drop you off afterward. Soon though, you start taking advantage a little bit. They call, they honk, you know they're downstairs, but you haven't gotten in the shower yet. <laughs> or they drop you off and you're like, you wanna roll down the windows and turn on the radio because I'm getting ready for work and you drop me off on the other side of town. Pretty soon you're not dating somebody with a car no more, you're fucking a free chauffeur. <laughs> Hopefully there's an end to it real quick because if you continue on this dating path, you can only look forward to such romantic dating destinations as number one, Target. Or number two, Costco, and wholesale is love. <laughs> or number three, this one's huge. This one necessitates a sit-down conversation before the date. You need to sit down, you need to make eye contact, you need to make eye statements. You need to be like, baby, baby, I feel as though we've been dating for a long time and I think we should take to the next level. What I'm trying to say is, let's buy an end table that I can't pronounce. <laughs> when I try to, it sounds like somebody sneezes. Hergen Flergen, does anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Ikea, right? Hopefully it doesn't go to that point, because if it does, the only sex that you get anymore is on the Kennedy Expressway. <laughs> and it's so bad. I mean, when you have to like roll down the window and spit on the freeway, you know? <laughs> Reassess your life goals. <laughs> you know, I'm not only a fan of touching other people's penises, I like touching my own. <laughs> and I think today, with how cold it is, clenches it. If masturbation were an Olympic sport, it would be in the Winter Olympics. <laughs> I don't know, who can beat me, four? No? Okay, anyway, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know, but tell me after the show. Um, it's great though, everybody should have a hobby. Hobbies keep you busy, hobbies make you happy, but show some time management. Use this as a rule of thumb when touching your junk. One is a ton of fun, but three or four will leave you sore. So show some restraint when romancing yourself. And although there's never a good time to stop masturbating, there's not. <coughs> Call your mom every once in a while. I mean, she worries about you. Also, just as important as time management is multitasking when you're spending quality time with your penis. So, sometimes I enjoy my favorite hobby while in the company of others. <laughs> and you know what the greatest thing about phone sex is? They never see it coming. Folks, we have a gay show for you tonight. Gay show, but a lot of the comics weren't always gay. I wasn't always gay. I actually used to be straight until I started playing a game called Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's familiar with this game, but it's a video game where you literally cannot win until you finish him. <laughs> and I'm very competitive. Let's give it up one more time. Just, we're here, we're inhabiting the same space, and it's a gay show. Go nuts. 